Well, good morning. I don't know why you can't see that. There it is, 429. Down here in Gaffney, South Carolina. Gonna fill up about 20 miles away from dropping these off. Sun's coming up. Get these dropped off and already shot the guy down in Georgia Tex. We're meeting around nine o'clock. He's all good to go. And uh, we'll get that truck loaded and start heading north. Well, this sure ain't helping today's progress. Here on 85 and uh, said something about an incident to watch for slow traffic. Well, found the incident. All right, well, he's parked on a, his house is on a main road, so I brought it up to this little side street. These new apartments are. Here it is. I guess that's California registration. I don't know what this guy did with this thing. But he's got the batteries mounted back here. Pretty sure they're gonna put a uh, a dump bot, like a dump truck body on this thing. I think that's the plan for this truck. Just gonna watch his lines hanging down. And uh, get it pulled up here. It's probably the safest place to load this thing, but sounds good fired right up Let's see if I can get it pulled up there all right got to make this kind of quick my man's weed whacking over here there she is four chains four binders I broke the hook on that one so I had to kind of loop it around the rub rail but I'm gonna send a picture of this to my customer and I'm gonna start heading north well one thing about being on the road you never know who you're gonna see. Just past my buddy, he's sitting at the rest area. I don't know, probably at this point, traffic's coming to a stop here, so. Um, probably about, uh, at this point, three, four miles back, and I called him, and he's taking a little snooze. He's on his way back. We're in Virginia. Uh, I'm pretty sure he ran all the way to Cali and back. And um, they got a brand new Intech single car enclosed they just bought um, the one you've probably seen them in my videos before it's got like a gray one well that trailer's got probably half a million miles on it things are starting to fall apart on it so they went ahead and bought a brand new one while they wait for the one that they ordered to come in so kind of a dire situation that they needed a trailer so he's uh he'll probably be up here in a little bit yeah, he's definitely gonna catch me it's in a six seven power stroke uh, with just a single car enclosed and I'm um, in the old turd 7.3 with massive F650 behind me. Let's see when he catches up to us here. Well, here comes young Davey. There's really nothing I hate more than a subway in every place you try to stop to get fuel. There's nothing I hate more than a subway that closes at 7 p.m. so they have no food. Oh, I'm starving. But truck's riding good actually. Slow pump. I was getting low on fuel. I was trying to find something I could stop and get something to eat and fuel and make it the rest of the way. But truck's riding good. This thing needs some work. Um, it's got some leaks. I just noticed it's leaving, leaving some oil on the uh, on the trailer. It's got air brakes on it. I'm not sure what exactly they did with this thing. It's like it didn't have a fifth wheel on it, or doesn't have a fifth wheel on it. Um, it's got a bunch of. I don't know if it's engine oil. I mean the guy that bought this has a full has a full shop I know it's dark out here but let me see if I can uh... no 
I can't get, it's got a bunch of wheel seals leaking on it too. Like the end, like they've been leaking for a while too. Like it's all over the spring hangers and stuff. The oil leaks, you can see maybe. The exhaust has oil all over it. So, I don't know what they were using this thing for. I mean, because like tires are, you know, mismatched and worn out, but it's got California numbers on it. Georgia title. I can't really tell what what that was. I mean, it's still sticky like they just pulled it off. I'm not sure. But, like I said, this guy's got a full shop. A bunch of employees, a bunch of mechanics, so he'll get her fixed up. And I'm picking a, I think it's a 10 foot and a 12 foot um, dump body for him beginning of next week up in New York. I assume one of those is probably going on that. Uh, he's a massive utility company, so um, he does like, he's got dump trucks and utility trucks and, you know, he's got everything, so I don't know if he's got a specific need for needing some of these, and he's a Ford guy, so all his stuff is Ford. Um, even though it has Cummins in it, he took, he bought a bunch of trucks way, you know, way back when they were new, when they came out with Max Force engines and you know, Max Force was such junk, he ended up buying a bunch of trucks like this. And maybe that's what this truck is for. He bought a bunch of trucks like this, like either wrecked or, you know, needing work. And he would take the 5.9 and the Allison out of them and put them in the Max Force trucks. Get rid of all his Max Forces. And like, that's the kind of work he does. So the little oil leaks and stuff, you know, really aren't a big deal to him. And everyone complains about how hazy and unattractive the headlights are in this but it's a good set of bulbs and this isn't even high beams anything is possible high beam low beam other than looking terrible they're perfect I'm on a two lane kind of back road a lot of a lot of deer and stuff through here and uh, I can see plenty ahead of me and someone actually made the comment in one of my previous videos about how good the headlights are in this truck and it's a set of LED bulbs I actually worked with this company and uh, there's a link down in my in the description I'm not trying to sell you on them I don't really make anything off of it I'm just trying to spread the word so I've had LED bulbs and HIDs back in the day and never really was happy with anything you, they, they would go out, they would, one would go out, one would work, you had to jiggle the wires, stupid stuff like that, and I finally found a set, and these have been in here for at least, you know, probably eight months, 80,000 miles or so, and I've had zero issues, I've, I've had to do nothing to them, they've been absolutely maintenance free so check them out they're down in the description again not trying to sell you on them i don't make anything off of that but go check them out this may look a little different than being uh home staying at the old rents tonight i gotta deliver about 10 minutes from here in the morning uh so it only made sense and saves me probably at least two three hours but instead of dragging this big truck you know, 60 miles, 120 miles out of the way, really. So, parents actually have a pretty much a half of their house. They built an addition for my grandmother, and uh, she is in a home now. So, we have half a house that I will take full advantage of. And the one nice thing about it is the fridge on that side of the house is the beer fridge and i know it's stocked so i'm gonna have myself a couple beers get a shower get up about 6 a.m and get this truck delivered so i'll see you guys tomorrow oh a little cold for a um a late night swim here <laughs>